evening everyone and I'm saying good evening because it is 9.21 in the p.m. as I am putting this together. So, you say, what is this video about? Well, my inner voice told me that I needed to put this video out before I launch my next video. Because this video right here, this is going to be on... Um, just briefly touching on Kamut and whether Kamut has gluten in it or not. Because I know you've probably seen um, several videos, maybe um, posts that may have mentioned that Kamut is a better alternative, just like you've probably seen spelt is a better alternative um, if you have allergies or just whatever, some sort of allergic reaction, celiac disease or whatever, um, to, to wheat. I've been asked um, several times in regards to whether Kamu has gluten in it, and yes it does. It actually um, appears to have more grams per cup of gluten inside of it than spilt actually does. And I'm going to show you this little um, example um, as, as sort of my proof, okay? Um, as a matter of fact, let's, let's, let's go there now. So let's Go back to the, go down to the bottom, then we'll come back up, and then I'll talk a little bit more. So here are two balls of gluten. This first one is your kamut. Notice the nice little stretch, and see how smooth this is too. But this is your kamut, and see how it looks like a skin. That is the protein um, that's left over. But this is kamut. So, and now this one, you'd be more, uh, some of you would be a little bit more familiar with it. Um, you've either made it or you've attempted to make it. This one is the spelt gluten. So you see how um, much like a, like a skin, this looks like, like sort of like a um, stretched skin. So I'm just going to sit these um, both down. But I just want you to notice some things about this. Um, the texture of it, I mean, this is just, it's really nice though, but I'm going to sit this right back down next to, um, next to the spell. I just want to put it inside of a little ball and just show you that this is the spell, I mean, the gluten that came from the kamut. Now, I use the same amount of flour for both of them. Actually, seven cups, uh, seven eighths of a cup of kamut would actually, um, equal to like one cup of, of spell. And so, see the comparison of what I got out of both of these. There's actually more grams per um, per cup of of gluten that's going to be inside the kamut than it is going to be inside of the spilt. And I use relatively the same much. Like a seven eighths of a cup of kamut would actually equal um, one cup of your spilt. And that's your kamut, and that's your spilt. So I'm going to make some seitan with these. I'm going to cook those up. All right, y'all. Here's the seitan. It's been, um, it's been in for about 30 minutes right now into my little broth. So the smaller one is the spell, and I'm going to turn it over now. The larger one, of course, that's the kamu. So here, it's already gone through its boil, and so now I'm just showing you how you can actually fry the kamut seitan. So I'm frying it up in some grapeseed oil. So again, this one is the kamut, and here is the spelt. Okay, so we have them both on the plate. So... Here is your kamu, seitan, and here is your spill, seitan. So let's do the cut test. Let's cut the kamu. So let's just show you kamu.
here if they come out here. Now let's put the, the spell. There's your spell. This one is the Kamu, and this one is the spell. They both have that that um that rubbery texture to it. The Kamu, it has a um it has a smoother texture than the spelt does it has that rubbery like that that meat texture like to it yeah they're hard yep look at my fingers but like I said, they're both um, pretty easy to make the gluten. Pretty easy to to um, pull the gluten out of the flour by rinsing out all of the um, all the starch. Hopefully, what you just saw will put it, will help you to put it into whether there is gluten inside of kamu or not. Hence, I just showed you. Um, and it's very easy to make just, um, the, well, the seitan is very easy to make just like um, it is when you're using your spelt flour. Very easy to pull out. At least, uh, to me, it's very easy to pull out. So, just a little, um, just a little history or background on Kamut. Kamut is actually a registered name, and it was registered back in what 19 1990 by Kamu International um, that's actually a registered trademark and so the product carrying that trademark actually is supposed to, supposed to stand for it is non-gmo um, non hybridized and um, no gluten but as you see it it actually has gluten in it so, kamut is, kamut is not going to be an alternative um, wheat flour to use if you're sensitive to gluten. So, as you saw, per my sample test, um, kamut actually appears to, to have more grams per cup of gluten than spelt actually does. So, if you don't want to have any... Um, Weak trigger immune reactions due to having allergies or celiac disease, then I would say just leave that alone. Yeah, just leave that alone because there's actually been several studies on kamut gluten alone that have actually proved um, the gluten and the allergic reactions um, that's inside of it. So if you're trying to be gluten free, then be completely gluten free. There are many alternatives out there to um, to making various types of breads um, or anything else in, in regards to sub just substituting um, your wheat. But kamut falls right up under wheat. So if you have allergies, leave it alone. So I just had to put out this little service announcement before... I put out my next video because my next video is going to be starring some Kamut. So I hope you guys stay tuned for that. I'm going to try to have it loaded um, sometime Friday, hopefully, which is tomorrow because today is Thursday. So I'm going to try to get that loaded up um, and shared out tomorrow. All right? Peace, love, and hair grief. So you say you want to watch more of my videos, then make sure that you click right here. 
and you say you don't want to miss any of my videos that's going to be coming up and you need to subscribe to my channel so you need to hit the subscribe button then make sure that you click right over here